Hi, welcome to ITY Solutions. Today we are going to look around how we can monitor URLs in Zapex. First of all, we need to create a web scenario. Okay, let's go to the Zapex configuration hosts web this one this is my host it voice website server so on this server uh, i need to create a web scenario so this is under the web section there is a web tab click on this you guys so click on create web scenario here you can provide name like it voice website or you can provide any name which suits your application update interval you can provide it according to your name so this uh, in every 30 seconds uh, it will go and check either your websites is running or not and uh, in the steps you need to provide your url so just copy this name and click on add steps and here you need to provide this now you need to provide your URL whatever website or any URL you want to monitor you need to provide it here so let's check our website URL sorry this is my website URL just open this in the your browser and check okay my website is up and running so this would be my URL copy this and uh, paste it in the zapix so here in the url tab paste your url and uh, what is post what is variables what is headers will let you know in the next video when we go in detail and uh, timeout so what is timeout timeout is uh, uh, means zapix will try uh, you are this means will try to open your website and if it takes longer than this time period this is in seconds uh, suppose it takes uh, four seconds to open the page then it's okay but if it is taking greater than five seconds so it will also tell that your website is not running so you can set your timeout according to your website if your page is heavy and it took time to load then you can set your timeout to 10 seconds or whatever uh, it is it depends on your application and yes it requires a status code when my websites will open successfully it will give a status code of 200 so let's give this click on add button now uh, you have successfully added steps now click on add okay so in your web scenario is added successfully now go back and check this check auto created items okay so uh, in previous videos when we go for port monitoring we first created an item and then created a respective trigger so now in this uh, we are not creating any item but we are creating a web scenario when we create a web scenario it automatically create six items and we can check the values of six items in the latest data so let's see what are that items click on host click on triggers and click create trigger i'm not creating trigger right now i will be back here i'm just showing you the automatically created items you can see that the type in type column you can see web monitoring okay so we just created web scenario it automatically created a item which is saying that download speed for this scenario another item is saying download speed for this website so these are all uh, calculating the website downloading speed and all thing so another item is failed step of scenario uh, which we want to need okay so these are some uh, items which are automatically created when you just add a web scenario response time and all that okay so right now i'm just closing this will create a trigger in a while first of all we'll show you the dashboard 
okay so this is your web monitoring tile if you don't create any trigger it will just uh, give updates here like you have uh, you have one one alert which is okay zero failed zero unknown okay so let's try i'm going to stop this website this one let's go and check 91 let's stop the nginx it's done and yes it's stop okay so we need to wait for 30 seconds to get zabbix update so see it's saying that one failed and zero okay so sometimes you can miss this alert due to very small indication of zabbix for this you need to create a trigger firstly let's go back and run this site using nginx start come on so don't worry within 30 seconds it will uh, automatically check this and uh, put it to ok state but you didn't get any notification on the main tab main tile so that's a uh, very basic need because no one will indicate this small red color so let's go to the configuration hosts click on trigger create trigger and here you can provide suitable name i will write this one it boys website is down so that uh, this message uh, everyone can understand this message and take the necessary actions click on add and select uh, item so now we need to select one item just search for a keyword which is fail failed step of scenario it bus solutions insert click on insert and you need to do this this one okay not equal to zero if it is not equal to zero then your trigger will be set click on the disaster and add so now you have successfully created a trigger on behalf of that item so now you can see that it's uh, again back to okay and failed is zero let me show you something in latest data in latest data you can see that uh, these eight uh, items were created automatically when you created a web scenario so we set the trigger on this item failed step of scenario it by solution if it is running it will give you zero else it will give you other values let's check the graph see this uh, graph it was uh, we started this website okay and at this point we stopped our nginx so our website was down so on that time it was giving value one so now uh, our problem was this was very small notification to check our web monitoring so we just created our trigger let's verify our trigger okay it's okay now now what we need to do we need to stop our website we stop the website and let's see uh, yes it will take uh, around 30 seconds to one minute to reflect it here so meanwhile uh, we can refresh the pages and uh, yes you are not familiar with how to install uh, zabbix uh, server and zabbix agent to your uh, environment so you can click on i button above to direct to the videos and after that i will suggest you must need to go for basic of item and triggers so you can also watch that uh, after clicking on the i button now on the top of the video okay let's refresh now so now you can see that there is uh, in web monitoring tile you can see that it's okay and the one alert and which is in failed state that's okay 
but on the main panel it is also saying that it boys website is down so that's for this video and uh, let's uh, bring the website up by uh, taking necessary action so my necessary action is to start the service again so within few seconds it will resolve this okay guys let's wait for this to become green or you can say that in okay state okay it's gone now and uh, okay let's go and check the latest data the value of this okay so this is the graph of 15 minute in last 15 minutes you can see that uh, our website was stopped for two times and this is also saying that from 4 25 pm to 427 your website was down and again at the second step your website was down from 429 to 431 means, means for more than one or two minutes your website was down so you can check your history of your alerts in this these graphs in monitoring and latest data and uh, six milliseconds it to open it and we have set this time to five seconds so if, if within five seconds it is not able to open our website it will also generate an error and it will also put uh, this this to the failed state and it you will get a trigger okay guys thank you for watching this video and uh, if you like this uh, please share this video with your friends